are still looking for the suspects in another mass shooting, this one in Beach Grove. News 8's Garrett Berquist updates us on the investigation. Police showed us this video from before the shooting. They say three men drove this car around the area before they parked in the parking lot and waited. As the gathering broke up around 9.30, someone inside the car opened fire. They killed one person and wounded three more. Detectives say nobody from the group at the park returned fire. Very atypical. I mean, especially in a park near a newly built trail. It makes sense that it's like this more of a, seem more tragic. Investigators say a large group of people had gathered at the park for a vigil for someone who died a few days ago. There's nothing at this point that points them to Beach Grove. Uh, how, how they ended up at that park, I have no idea. It's almost like things just aligned here to turn out really badly. Neighbors tell me Don Chalice Park is a popular spot. They bring their children over here all the time to play. Daria Romler has lived just down the street from the park for more than 10 years. She was at home with her college-age children when the shooting happened. Then all of a sudden my son gets a text from one of his friends saying that there was a shooting at the park and wanted to know if he was okay. This is what Rumler saw when she went down to the corner to look. Police swarming the park. There was multitudes of us down there just looking in, in disbelief. It just so close to home. Um, you know, and I'm, thank God my children were not down there. Rumler says she's still processing this and the shooting in Greenwood. I'm tired of the violence. I'm, there's no reason for all this hate. I think people need to come back together again and, like my sign says, just be kind. Beach Grove police say you should contact them if you have any information about Sunday night shooting. In Beach Grove, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.